dollars in government student loan money to cover their tuitions, even when it knew there was a history of lower income students not finishing school or paying back their loans. The Art Institute eventually settled out of... There are some extremes in which student borrowers use their loans not for school, Las Vegas, Vegas baby, but for living La Vida Loca across the American landscape. And when it comes to collecting on loans, there are extremes that authorities have taken to force students to pay back their loans. Well, how about being arrested by the U.S. Marshal's office? Like when a team of heavily armed federal marshals in Houston, Texas, recently showed up at this former college student's home, arresting him because he failed to pay off a $1,500 loan from almost 30 years ago. Some of the worst abusers are said to be U.S. colleges. For example, one of the nation's largest for-profit private colleges, the Art Institute, with campuses across the U.S., has been accused by the U.S. Justice Department of fraudulently recruiting low-income students and raking in $11 billion in government student loan money to cover their tuitions, even when it knew there was a history of lower-income students not... And even when students default on their loans, lenders get their money back anyway because the U.S. government guarantees these loans, which means if students don't pay off their loans, U.S. taxpayers are stuck paying them off. And there are abuses in the college loan game. There are some extremes in which student borrowers use their loans not for school, Las Vegas, Vegas, baby, predatory student loan lenders such as student loan companies like Sally May, that's loaned more than $180 billion to students, or such as major banks making student loans like Wells Fargo. Many of these publicly traded institutions making billions of dollars in profits each year off student borrowers stuck with skyrocketing interest rates and